Chapter 1. What's the big deal about coupons? I was 16 years old when I got my first job. Like most high school students, I needed a job in order to save for college, pay for my car insurance, pay for dates, and so on. So, I went to my local grocery store and applied to be a cashier. I got the job and found myself engulfed in a world of sales and little saving clips called coupons. I had to quickly learn how the coupon game was played. Ah, the coupon game. The means by which smart grocery shoppers can save themselves tons of money through the strategic use of different kinds of discounts. As a cashier, I had to make sure I had a solid handle on my store's coupon policy, lest any of my customers mistakenly use their coupons incorrectly. Any incorrect or expired discounts could be taken out of my pay or lead to a reprimand. I found that most shoppers would only use a few coupons here or there on just a few items. They would save a few dollars off their bill, perhaps 10 to 20 percent. Nothing to write home about, but nice savings nonetheless. But then, there were the extreme coupon shoppers. You probably know the type I'm talking about. You may have seen them on TV, on a reality show, or even in person at the store. They only bought items when they were on sale. They had a coupon for every item they bought. Store coupons, manufacturer coupons, and coupons from other stores. Every type of coupon you could possibly think of. They took advantage of the store's prices matching policy to get the best price on everything they purchased. Once all the savings were totaled, they had shaved 60, 70, or even 80% off their bill. Some of the items ended up being completely free. Other items were 80 to 90% off. The first time I saw one of these extreme coupon shoppers at work, I was surprised and astounded. I just had to learn how they found such ridiculous savings by being a cashier on front lines of the grocery discount war. I soon learned all the tricks of the trade. Since then, I've applied these coupon techniques to my own shopping. I've learned a few new things since my cashiering days as well. The World Wide Web and mobile devices now offer more discounts than most shoppers could have dreamed of, and extreme coupon shoppers know how to take full advantage of every single discount. It's a crazy and yet legitimate way to increase your spending power. You may be wondering how extreme coupon shoppers can pull off such a ridiculous savings. This book will show you some of their secrets and put you well on your way to matching their savings achievements. Why using coupons is worth your while. In 2015, the average family spent about $335 per month on groceries. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, that's a little over $4,000 a year, which is quite a large expense. A large family can easily spend $800 or more per month on groceries. The good news is that this expense can be greatly reduced by learning to use coupons to their full potential. For instance, with a little work, I can regularly save about 33% off my bill. For the average family, a 33% savings comes to $112 per month. Imagine what you could do with an extra $100 every month. Buy some new clothes for your family, pay a little more off that credit card bill, or maybe something more fun such as buying a nice bottle of wine or taking the family out to a nice dinner. These savings can be achieved with just a little work. With more effort and planning, it becomes possible to save 50% or more of your grocery bill. Imagine having an extra $150 or $200 in your wallet at the end of the month. Isn't that worth spending a little time clipping coupons and watching for store sales? Coupons are free money, just waiting to be taken advantage of. How Couponing Has Changed in the Internet Age Thanks to the internet and mobile devices, finding grocery savings is now easier than ever. Instead of having to scour paper flyers for hours, coupons can now be downloaded and printed from many websites. Coupons can often now be stored digitally and loaded onto store loyalty cards or mobile devices. No more forgetting your coupons at home. 
store ads are routinely displayed on grocery store websites so that shoppers can access them more easily from the comfort of their home. Store ads can now even be accessed from mobile devices while on the go. Mobile apps offer new ways to save money, such as digital coupons used at checkout, or through rebates on products that have already been purchased. By combining these new ways of saving with tried and true couponing techniques, our grocery savings can be taken to a whole new level. This book will show you how to leverage the internet to make saving money at the supermarket easier and more effective than ever. Who is this book for? This book is designed for those who have little or no experience with using coupons or whose very little experience in using the internet to do their couponing. This book probably won't be helpful to those who are experienced in using coupons and are already saving a third or more of their grocery bills. But for those who are looking to save more on their grocery bills and are willing to put forth a little effort, read on.